Hey, Better Sax players, Jay Metcalf here. Recently, I did a review video of the Jean-Paul AS400 alto saxophone. And since then, many of you have been asking me to do the same for their tenor saxophone, the TS400 by Jean-Paul. And that's exactly what we're gonna do in today's video. I was very impressed with the alto version of this horn. It's definitely the best saxophone under $500 that I've ever tried. And I'm hoping that the tenor saxophone will be just as good. It sells for $699 and it's gonna be amazing if people can buy a good quality tenor saxophone at that price. Let's find out. So here's what comes in the box. The saxophone, of course, a neck, the stock mouthpiece, a pretty decent ligature and a nice cap, some cork grease. You've got a padded, or a slightly padded neck strap, a polishing cloth, a nice swab that I like very much. You get this instruction booklet and also this guarantee card. The Jean-Paul saxophones are guaranteed and they've got amazing customer service. As always, you'll find the link to this saxophone on the Jean-Paul USA website, as well as amazon.com in the description below. Now let's do our quick mechanical overview. Nice end plug that covers up the octave key mechanism. I like that. Okay, straight out of the box. Uh, feels like a pretty decent setup. I can tell just by closing them like that. Looking at the pads, they seem to be pretty well installed. They've got domed metal resonators. And one thing I like about these Jean-Paul saxophones is they come with the adjustment screws uh, for the right hand keys, the left hand keys. It's one thing to have those screws on there, but it's another thing that the saxophone comes out of the box and it's already set up well. So that's a definite plus. One thing that I've noticed that is not as good on this saxophone as with the alto saxophone are some of the key corks. On the side C key, the cork needs to be a bit thicker. Uh, because it's not thick enough, the key kind of opens up a bit too much. It's really not a big deal, but if we're nitpicking and searching for flaws, that's one. On this D palm key, again, the cork is glued on. It's not perfectly centered on the key and it's a little bit squishy, but Again, not a big deal. Also on the octave key mechanism, I would prefer thicker corks to reduce the amount of motion. This is just moving more than necessary. Again, I'm nitpicking. Now checking the mechanical play. The right hand is good. Uh, there's some play in that C key. Okay, overall, not bad. The right hand is very good. There's a little bit of play I found in the left hand keys. A little bit of play in the low C, a little bit of play in the E flat, and as well in the F palm key. I did notice something right away, which might be an issue for some people. I would assume this is just this particular saxophone. In the lacquer, there are some black spots, and I guess there's something went wrong with the lacquering on this horn. It's only on this bell area here. That's purely a cosmetic issue but it's something to point out. Okay, spring tension is very nice all up and down the instrument. I would increase the spring tension on that low C just a tiny bit. It's gonna work, but it'll be better if it springs back a little bit more. Okay, checking over the neck, it looks good. Let's see how the neck tenon fits. Very nicely. Tighten it up doesn't budge at all. Now I want to check how the stock mouthpiece that comes with it fits on the neck cork. Oh, pretty good. <laughs> That's a great fit. I wouldn't even put cork grease on there. Perfect for once. Okay, let's take a look at the case. You can see there very little movement back and forth. If I close the case up. Okay, great. No movement of the saxophone inside the case. I think these cases are great. For most 
inexpensive saxophones, you're gonna get a really crappy case. And that's kind of part of the reason why those saxophones fall apart quickly is because the, the case isn't protecting them. I think it's just fantastic that they're getting a decent case with these instruments. It increases the value so much of your purchase as well as reducing the amount of trips to the repair technician you need to do. I love how this case is set up. You got the compartment for the mouthpiece, the compartment for the neck, plenty of space over here for your accessories. On the outside, there's this big pouch here for sheet music, music books, for kids going to their lessons. This is great, so they have no excuse to forget their book. They've also got one of these shoulder strap things. I never use these things. I always go with the shoulder straps. Nice metal clips. Okay, fantastic, love it. And a great handle on the top. This is the one I will use the most. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with the mechanical setup and the pads for this saxophone, especially considering the price. Now I'm gonna go play on it, get comfortable on it, and then I'll do a play test for you so you can hear what it sounds like with the stock mouthpiece, and I'll also play it with my mouthpiece. I'm gonna start by demonstrating what this sounds like with the included mouthpiece. It's very much a starter mouthpiece. It's not great, but it works, and this is what it sounds like. <laughs> Not the best. Uh, let's hear what it sounds like with a much better mouthpiece. <laughs> And for further comparison, here's me playing the same mouthpiece on my pro Yanagasawa saxophone. <laughs> I gotta say, once again, the Jean Paul has come through. This is a great tenor saxophone for under $700. It's kind of amazing. Uh, it, it plays great, it plays in tune. It's got an excellent mechanism, an excellent case. The mouthpiece it comes with is not great. You would definitely want to eventually upgrade your mouthpiece, but it does work well enough to get you started. It's very easy to play, my hands are comfortable enough on the key work. I had no problem playing up into the altissimo register and the very lowest notes of the horn as well. I didn't have to make any adjustments to this. It's playing great out of the box. I did have some concerns about the thickness of a few of the corks, but I have to say while playing it, I didn't really notice anything off. When you take into account the great customer service these guys provide, as well as the fact that they've got repair centers located all over the United States where you can send your instrument in if ever it does need repairs, this is a no-brainer. If you've got a limited budget, I can highly recommend going for one of these Jean-Paul TS-400 saxophones. If I had to use this on a gig tonight as a backup saxophone, I'd have no problem bringing this along. Now, having said that, I would still much prefer to play on my professional Yonagasawa saxophones, but for someone starting out, 
someone with not a huge budget, this you really cannot go wrong. There is a link in the description below this video to where you can go purchase one of these on the Jean Paul website as well as amazon.com. I know it also comes in a silver plated version. Now, if you own one of these Jean Paul TS 400 saxophones, please let us know in the comment section below your experience with it. How is it playing for you? How has it been holding up over time? Uh, did you have to do with the customer service at all? Anything like that will be helpful for people deciding what to buy. Now make sure you click the thumbs up button before you go and get yourself subscribed to the channel if you aren't already. Also follow Better Sax on Instagram and Facebook where I'm sharing tons of bonus content. Thank you so much for watching and see you again soon in another Better Sax video. Mm-hmm. <laughs>